Well, here's the toilet paper section that's emptying out yeah. at Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to be making sure we have some. Good morning, everyone. Colette asked me to show her what I'm eating in a day, and I will do that if I can remember. This is a piece of sourdough toast with cream cheese and the everything seasonings, which is like sunflower, I mean, um, sesame seeds, like an everything bagel. Those are two eggs with uh, spicy veggie sausage, which is only one point, the sausage. The eggs are four points because there's two of them. I didn't use cheese on that. It's just onion and some hot sauce. A little cream cheese over here. So basically we're looking at probably like 10 points. Maybe I'll make it 11 points for my breakfast, which turns out to be brunch. There you go. First meal of the day. Hi, everyone. I am back to the Dollar General. I had to buy some... Uh, I buy some PMs to sleep and I noticed I had none last night and I need them once in a while to just kind of get me to the sleep thing. Anyway, um, yeah, so I am uh, going to head back home right now. It's Saturday at 3.51 in the afternoon and... I didn't really buy, I didn't buy any more toilet paper. I've got plenty. <laughs> I did buy some, um, some bleach and some, uh, some Lysol spray and, um, those, uh, towelettes that are bleach. I'm just, that's just a good thing to have and I didn't really have any, so. But, the more that I think about the situation in the world right now with, the uh, um, this virus is, kind of weird like I either think two things either everyone's blown it way out of proportion because what I hear um, it's a flu bug and people get over it unless they have really like very bad immune uh, systems or very old and lungs you know that kind of stuff and um, so then if if that's the case that it's not as bad of a sickness and most people can heal from it like any flu that we get why is that the over the overreaction you know why is disney world and uh, closed and knott's berry farm and why are all the games canceled and why is anything with huge crowds canceled uh because the chances are low that you know that people are walking around with this virus but i don't know that no one knows then there's the other way to think like maybe it's really worse than they're letting on, you know? Like maybe we're not being told everything because I don't understand this this crazy run for toilet paper and, and, and stocking up on food for, which, which people should have at least a few weeks of food if you, you know, I know that if I had to open up cans and, you know, clean out my refrigerator, I could live for a while on, on what I've got. I don't know. I just don't know. Is it is it really bad and we're just not being told and going to honker down like everybody's doing because it's, you know, the untold story of what this is? But I really don't think it's going to be that bad. I really don't. You know, we take our precautions, right? We listen to the news and we think, uh, these days the news is like kind of horrible. No matter what they're talking about. This is really blown out of proportion, I'm hoping anyway. So, anyway, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I guess I will just hang out in my little town and you know, take care of myself and my dogs and stay close to my friends and family here. And in a few weeks, hopefully, this whole thing will start clearing out and, and they'll, they'll come up with some kind of vaccine or, I don't know, you and me, we all don't know. We, ha we have a lot of opinions, that's for sure. But I'm not going to dwell on it too long. I just, you know, it's in my mind and, you know, 
my vlog is kind of like, what's Deb thinking about today? That's the truth. I just don't know what's going on, but I am like doing the best I can to be, you know, to be prepared. And um, we are kind of far away from everything. So, you know, our stores around here seem to have everything we need. Although Dollar General was so busy. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just go home and do something, you know? Maybe today uh, is a good day to watch a couple movies or do some Netflix, you know? My friend Amanda turned me on to a Netflix series. It's called uh, Murder Mountain. I think I'll watch some of those because when I was at her house, I, I watched a few uh, of the season, and it's it's pretty interesting. It's about um, up there in Humboldt County, California, where all the marijuana has been famous for growing in, in communes and stuff since the early 60s, and it's still got a lot of stuff happening there because it, it's just a beautiful place with redwood trees and lots of uh, forest. Anyway, some of the children, and not children, but like teenagers and young adults, have never been seen again once they were there. <laughs> and uh, I think that basically this is the stories of, uh, of those people that never were heard from again. And um, anyway, I'm going to watch it. And uh, tomorrow is Sunday, and I'll go live on Sunday. Although, I will not be going live at my regular time Sunday because my favorite group, Burn and Kelly, right now they were supposed to be in Texas um, and they're gonna be doing like, they were going to be doing a tour of San Antonio, Austin, the Dallas area, and even a couple more places on their tour. And right now they're canceled, so they're going to do a live, um, wonderful live concert on Stage It. That's, that's what I'm doing today, and that's Saturday afternoon. See you later. Good evening, everyone. RV Debs here. It's Monday, sunset. Very pretty. It was raining all yesterday, and supposedly we're going to get a thunderstorm in tonight. But at the moment, it looks pretty nice out. Very peaceful. Today, Kathy and I went to uh, Walmart in Stamford, which is like a 45-minute drive. We didn't know what to expect, whether or not we would, uh, you know, find everything we were looking for. And pretty much, we got everything we needed. Rosie, you don't run after cats. She just ran after a cat. But she didn't go too far. Hey! Listen to me, Rosie. Rosie, I'm talking to you. You don't go after kitties. Scared me. What was I saying? Jeez. Oh, yeah. We went to Walmart, and um, we got... I really didn't need any paper products because we already did that at the Dollar General. <laughs> but there was no paper. There was no toilet paper or paper towels. There was plenty of meat and, and uh, all that kind of, all food, we, plenty of food. There was a lot of cleaning stuff was gone. Any ramen noodles, any kind of ramen noodle packages was all gone. So weird. But, um, you know, I had no trouble finding. They still had water, but I could tell that, you know, it wouldn't be long till water was gonna go down but I've got plenty there's no outbreak at all no not one diagnosed case yet in Abilene on the news that's good they're taking precautions though so um, everybody's kind of hunkering down and it's just really weird and like in Abilene you're not allowed to have more than 250 people in one gathering which is pretty big so, anyway, <laughs> that's what's going on here in my little town. So, in my little town, we're pretty safe. You never know, though, because, see, people are coming back 
from spring break from all over the place. So, you know, hopefully nobody will come here and spread the, the germs. They just tell you that if you're not feeling good to stay home, which is a good idea. Now she's going to take a seat in the chair there. She just, I couldn't believe her. She just kind of ran straight down that way after a cat. And I <sighs> screamed at her. She didn't go all the way. That was good. They are unpredictable. And I know. I take chances. Well, it's getting to that time of night where uh, I'm going to stay in. And and just chill out. That's all we can do. Sounds of a little town. They're going to take the chicken shed. They're going to take that chicken coop and they're going to put a floor. Well, Mark's going to put a floor down and, uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do, but they're going to use it for um, potting soil and gardening tools because they're making a garden right there. It's going to be, I don't know what exactly they have in their mind, but I think it's going to be very nice. That's what's happening here. Look at that one flashing solar light. The rest of them don't work. What's wrong with that one? I don't know. I've got one over here and it doesn't work. They don't work for very long. Okay, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you uh, watching my videos. Oh, yeah. And I was going to say that my old channel, RV Dub's Journey, the first channel. Yeah, there's like a lot of videos. There's like 1,100 at least. And each one had the comments turned off. And the only way that I'm able to get the comments back under each video is I have to go to each video under edit and click the little allow comments. <laughs> it doesn't take long, but hundreds of videos. So I'm just going to do some every time I'm hanging out, just sitting there watching TV. I'll be turning back on the comments so that when you do watch an old video, you'll at least be able to see comments. Isn't that the craziest? Yeah. But I'm just grateful that I got the channel back. So that makes me happy. It's nice to go on, on my old channel, even myself, and watch a video like um, when I first bought the RV and I was just moving in and then I was trying to like decorate and... <sighs> It's changed a lot since I first got, you know, got in there and did this. But, yeah, catch up with uh, some of the Lifetimes videos of mine on there, if that makes sense. And uh, I would appreciate that because that's why I'm not monetized. I'm going to need 4,000 hours watch time within a 28-day period. I hope eventually to do that. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.